Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub. So today in this video, I'll tell you about the method of separation of variables. So as the name suggests, what is the meaning of this method? The meaning of this method is that in this method, we will assume that the dependent variable, it is a product of the two functions, each of which involves only one of the independent variable. So from there, we will get two ordinary differential equations. We can solve them easily. And from there, we will get the final solution, right? So let's understand this method with the help of this question. So we need to solve the equation by the method of separation of variables. 3 del u by del x plus 2 del u by del y is equal to 0, where u x comma 0 is equal to 4 e to the power minus x. So what is the first step? Let's see that here u is the dependent variable depending on the two variables that is x and y. So the first step of the question is that we will assume that u, the dependent variable, is a function of capital X and capital Y where x is a function depending only on x and y is a function depending only on y. Right? So this is the first step. So from the given differential equation, check what is u dependent on and take the function u as a product of two different functions where x is a function of x and y is a function of y. Now the next step is from the given differential equation, calculate the value of del u by del x. What is del u by del x? It is derivative of u with respect to x keeping y constant. So what will be the derivative? It will be x dash y. Right. And similarly, the second thing that is required in the question is del u by del y. So del u by del y is partial derivative of u with respect to y, keeping x constant. So we'll keep x constant and let's take the derivative that is y dash. Now put these two values in the given equation. So we will get 3 into x dash y plus 2 into x y dash is equal to 0. So as the name suggests, method of separation of variables. So we will separate the variables on both sides. So we have 3x dash y is equal to minus 2x y dash. So let us take this x on the left hand side and bring y on the right hand side. So what we will get? We will get 3x dash divided by x is equal to minus 2y dash divided by y. So both are ratios, so we can put this ratio equal to constant k. Now let us compare the first equation. So the first equation is 3x dash divided by x is equal to k. So let's cross multiply and frame the equation 3x dash minus k into x is equal to 0. Now what is x dash here? x dash is del capital X by del small x. So we can write it as dx because we know that del by del x is capital D. So this equation becomes 3dx minus k times x is equal to 0. So we can take out x common from here. So we will get 3d minus k into x is equal to 0. Now if 3d minus k into x is equal to 0, so this equation is now a first order ordinary differential equation in x. So we can make the auxiliary equation by writing 3d minus k is equal to 0. This gets converted into the algebraic equation that is 3m minus k is equal to 0. So from here, what is m? m comes out to be k by 3. So if the root comes out to be k by 3, then what is the value of x? x comes out to be c1 e raised to power k by 3x. Right? So we got one of the solutions. Now let us take the second expression. The second expression was minus 2y dash by y is equal to k. Let's cross multiply. So we'll get 2y dash plus k times y is equal to 0. Now what is y dash? y dash is del by del y of y. So what is del by del y? We can write it as d dash y. So this expression becomes 2d dash y plus ky is equal to 0. So we will get 2d dash plus k into y is equal to 0. So again, this is an ordinary differential equation in y. 
And now when you solve it, we will get 2, sorry, 2 d dash plus k is equal to 0. This is the auxiliary equation. Let's convert it into algebraic expression by putting d dash equal to m. So from here, we will get m is equal to minus k by 2. So if the root is minus k by 2, then what is y? C1 we have already used, so we will write C2 e raised to power minus k by 2 y. Right? Now, what is the next step? We got the values of u and y. In the question, we have to calculate u. So what is u? u is a product. So u is x into y. So let's put the answers here. So we have C1 e raised to power k by 3x into C2 e raised to power minus k by 2 y. So when we multiply it, C1 and C2 is also a constant. So we can name it as C3 e raised to power. The powers will get added k by 3x minus k by 2 y. Right? Now, after doing this, what is the next step? We are also given some initial condition that u x comma 0 is equal to 4 e to the power minus x. So we can clearly see that the variable y is taking value 0. So let us put y equal to 0. So u becomes 4 e to the power minus x. This is equal to, let's put y equal to 0. So we will get c3 e raised to power k by 3x. y is 0, so this whole term will become 0. Now, when you compare both sides, what is C3? C3 is 4. And when you compare K, we will get K by 3 is equal to minus 1. So, K comes out to be minus 3. So, what is your final U? U finally becomes C3, that is 4. E to the power K is minus 3. So, it will be minus X plus 3 by 2 times Y. So, this is the value of U. Right? So, this is how the method of separation of variable works. So, now let us try to do one more question. Right? So, we need to solve by the method of separation of variables del u by del x plus 2 times del u uh, by del, del t plus u. And the condition is u x comma 0 is 6 into e to the power minus 3x. So again, clearly you can see that u is dependent on which two variables, x and t. So let us assume that u is equal to a product of x multiplied by capital T. Where, what is x? x is a function depending on x and t is a function depending on t. Right? So the auxiliary equations will become d minus k. So when you convert it into algebraic expression, we will get m minus k is equal to 0. So that means m is equal to k. So what is x from here? x comes out to be c1 e raised to power kx. Now let us take up the second equation. The second equation is 2t dash plus t by t is equal to k. So let's cross multiply. 2t dash plus I can take out t common. I'll get 1 minus k is equal to 0. This can be written as 2d dash t plus 1 minus k into t is equal to 0. So, I can take out 2d dash plus 
वन माइनस के एक्सप्रेशन सो व्हेन आई फ्रेम द ऑक्सिलरी इक्वेशन आई विल गेट टू टी डैश प्लस वन माइनस के इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो अल्जेब्रा के एक्सप्रेशन विल बी टू एम प्लस वन माइनस के इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो एम कम्स आउट टू बी के माइनस वन बाय टू सो इफ एम इज दिस दें व्हाट इज टी टी इज टी टू ई रेस्ट टू पावर k minus one by two times x. So finally, for this u, u is the product. So it is t one e raised to power k x multiplied by t two e raised to power k minus one by two. So c one and c two are constant. So we will get c three e raised to power k x plus K minus one by two times. So now let's apply. The so that means which variable is taking value zero? The variable t is taking value zero. So we will get six e raised to power minus three x put equal to zero. So we will get c three e raised to power k. So from here, when you compare, you will get c three is six. And k is equal to minus three. So what is your final u then? U comes out to be six e raised to power k x will become minus three x. K is minus three, so this will become minus two. Right? So I hope you understood the method of separation of variables. Right? So do try these problems and do let me know if you are able to solve it. Right? and if you like the video do hit the like button and those of you who haven't subscribed my channel do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated videos